Young. I'm Mr. Berman. And sitting in the sweet seat today is... Sophia! <laughs> Hi, Sophia! Hi! Lemon Link. This is a show where three teachers got together because all in one day we lost our show, our cast, our kids. So we created what's called the Lemon Link. And we are connecting kids one link at a time. So make sure you check out the end of the video to find out how you can share your links with us. We are having Sophia back because this is round two with Sophia on the Lemon Link. She is one of our finest linkers. This girl has linked so many videos to us. Now, Sophia, how are you making all these videos? How did you get inspired? How did you start? Tell us all about it. Well, I really try to just film my everyday tasks, pretty much everything that I do. Um, anytime I'm baking something or I am um, doing something outside, really anything I do, I just try to film it and then pick little pieces and edit them together and try to come up with something. And usually I'm able to. So, um, so I got a lot of different um, kind of helpful tips from um, all of you and I was able to film it just over and over and over until I got it exactly how um, we really wanted it for the lemon link um, and then I just used those kind of tips along with the rest of my videos and they've I think turned out pretty good they have they certainly have but I wanted our viewers to understand that sometimes you don't get it on the first try and that's anything yeah. that you to do in life right you have to kind of really work at it and for you you started learning the how to do the videos got our feedback and before you knew it we feel like your last several videos have been completely professional and you've just kind of picked up on how to make a great video and that's why we wanted to bring you back on the show again so that you could kind of give a little advice to our to our students who are just starting out or just trying to make a video and getting on the lemon link because we did thank you we do try to find some quality in the videos that we choose to put on the link Word, now the word on the street is uh, you're doing so well within the Lemon Links that um, you're you're being considered for the Lemon Link Olympics. Oh. Uh, well, is that it? Well, I'm really not supposed to talk about that, but um, yes, yes, it, it's true. That's, I don't, yeah. That's breaking news <laughs> right here. That's we yep. did that. Mm-hmm. Well, she does have our most popular video right now. Miss Young, do you want to talk about that, our most popular video? Yes, uh, you can check out Sophia's video in the Lemon Short links that we've been uploading. Sophia Bigfoot is um, at the top right now. She has the most views. You can find her, uh, you know, really sharing how, sh how, how Bigfoot might feel. Yes. You know, I felt like I needed to give a voice to the voiceless, so. You can just call me a Bigfoot advocate. Well, I know everybody out there is anxious to see what kind of videos we're going to release on the Lemon Link today. And what we put together for our viewers really was inspired by your first video that we're about to share, Sophia, because um, we're really talking today a lot about how to survive quarantine. And we know that, you know, being cooped up this whole amount of time has been a challenge for some people. And so, you, you know, being creative and finding ways to respond to it. And um, your first video kind of just made me feel like how sometimes we get a little, I don't want to use the wrong word, but you know, just you know, yeah. you, have a look, you, you know, I don't have to say, let's take a look at this video, shall we? Okay, I have comments. Yes. Uh, Sophia, what what was um, the temperature like, uh, number wise? Let's go numbers in um, in where, where are you where are you Florida? Is it? Yeah. Yes, I think it was in the maybe seventy five range. <laughs> 
okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, then I, I second the hand gesture of, um, you know, whatever we're insinuating. But I, I, would, I would go as far as to say, I ditch that jacket and wear a shirt and shorts at temperature of uh, 50 or higher in Chicago. Mm. The sun's out and it's 50 degrees. I'm I'm rocking short sleeve shorts and sneakers. <laughs> a lot a lot of our viewers don't realize that Stephen, one of our former Abadaba teachers from Florida, is currently zooming in from Chicago. <laughs> Quite a different temperature. What's it like there now, Mr. Berman? It's getting nice and warm in its sixties, which I Sophia, if you were up here, I'd put on some pants. Um. Uh, thick snow pants. I'll bring my winter coat. I'll be ready. <laughs> well, we gotta use our imagination, right? When we're in quarantine. So for you, it was a snow day. I yeah. love grass snow angel. Your grass angel? What would that be? Yeah, how'd that turn yeah, out? So. I think that there is really nothing better than some Christmas spirit. I personally love Christmas time. Have you seen the people on the news that have been putting Christmas lights and stuff and decorations in their yards? I mean, I thought the perfect way to give myself a little vacation, even though I can't really go on a vacation, is to just have a little Christmas time. <laughs> there you go. I, I get it. So you got inspired by all of the Christmas decorations that people yeah. put out, right? Makes sense. Yeah. Kind of gets you a little confused. It's not her fault, Mr. Mr. Berman. It's no, it's not. And I'd like to think that you're the kind of person who has a, a, a peppermint stick in like your front pocket, ready to go whenever oh, you want. Constantly. Yeah, 24-7. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Well, Miss Young, this next video that we're going to share, this is Hannah. Hannah was one of our first video makers for the Lemon Link. And remember, she made us that lovely lemonade recipe. And she's got several videos out there, too. And we would like to show what she, she actually made. You have to keep an eye on it because it goes real fast. But she made us a list of suggestions that will help you in quarantine. So this might help you, Sophia, from losing it while there we're There are a lot of different things that you can see in this video. And it's going to get your mind going. Let's take a look. So today I got really bored and I was just stuck in my house nothing to do so I decided I was going to fix that and I made a list of things to do during quarantine Boredom, it definitely cured mine making it and I just I had really fun making this list it gave me so many ideas to use and I hope you got a bunch of fun ideas to use with your family and friends I just want to give a shout out to my friend Taylor I couldn't have made this without her she gave me a lot of ideas because wow, I said that was a out lot like of ideas nobody should there's no excuse no one ever should say they're bored <laughs> I mean who yep. can uh, can we name all of them you, did you take notes, Miss Young? You took notes, didn't you? I saw I, you look down. Take notes? I, I just watched very carefully. All right, what'd you get? Draw, get buff, hydrate, um, eat. I liked that one. Uh, make lemon links, do TikTok dances, uh, ride a bike, uh, decorate your room. There was a lot more. There was a lot more. Don't forget about more. the pets. There was play with your pets, too. You have to do stuff with your pets. Mm -hmm. Where are my pets? <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot. I, did, I don't think I got them all. You know, maybe people just have to slow it down and make their list because you certainly shouldn't run out of things to do with Hannah's direction, under her direction. But I have to tell you, this next videographer, Ruby makes a video for us where she just brings it down to 10 simple steps of oh, wow. how to survive quarantine. Okay, so she's gonna show us, I think it's her day. So let's take a look at her 10 steps to surviving quarantine. Let's take a look. 10 steps for surviving quarantine. Step one, roll out of bed. 
Step two, read a book. Harry Potter, hopefully. Step three, do a puzzle. Step four, walk your dogs. Step five, spend time outside. Step six, feed your dogs. Step seven, watch Netflix. Step eight, eat candy. Step nine, dance. And finally, step ten, ride your bike. Hope you all are surviving quarantine well. Bye. Mr. Bremen, you look very confused about riding a bike. I've just been doing it wrong, apparently. You put your feet up there. Yeah, I saw that too. That was a trick. I, I put my feet way. on the... You see, that's what quarantine does for us. It gives us time to create new and different ways to do things, right? Of course. Mm-hmm. We just want to be safe about it, for goodness sakes. But how do you like that? Ten steps to quarantine. And we've given you ways to survive quarantine. We've given you ideas of what to do. Now all you've got to do is make your videos and show us how it's happening and how yeah, you're surviving. Yeah, all set to survive. Have things to do, work. We've got our list of things we can do. So I think we're good. I think we are too. And with that being said, I think I hear the music coming in. I think it's that time. Mr. Berman, did everybody have their lemonade? Oh, I do. Well, Sophia, thank you for joining us today. And to all you lemonheads out there, here's to five more ways to ride a bike. <laughs> Cheers. 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 And thanks for joining us on the Lemon Link. Bye. Bye! See you next time. Thank you, Sophia. Great job. Thank you, Sophia. Keep making those videos for us. Yeah, okay. Have fun at the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs>